electrician you and today I want to talk about testers so there are a lot of different type of testers that electricians use um, for various different purposes there are some testers that I'm not going to talk about um, but for the for the majority of my work every single day uh, these are the testers that I'm going to use that I'm going to go out to my truck and grab so starting out this guy pretty important um, this is a plug tester specifically so if you wire a house and you want to go um, figure out if all the plugs are working or if they're wired right or if you have a dead circuit and you just need somewhere to start this thing works great uh, it's got three little lights on it if you know any two of them light up a certain way there's actually a little code on the front that it describes you know your ground and your hot or wired backwards or you're in hot neutral or reversed or or everything's just okay you did it right so this guy uh, doing residential work actually just doing all kinds of work this guy's a really handy tool to have go get one the next thing that I'm embarrassed to even be talking about is this guy this is a non-contact voltage tester uh, I would tell you to break this throw this motherfucker away and don't ever use it but there are some times where it is useful to have the reason I say that and the reason I talk badly about it is a lot of apprentices grab these things and they stick them in something they're like oh yeah I know everything that's going on right now at the circuit because this little light beeps there are so many times when these things will lie to you um, for instance if you stick it into a box and you the thing starts beeping at you you have no idea if the ground is what it's testing that has voltage on it or if the neutral is testing that it has voltage on it even in the pamphlet that these things come with it says that there's a whole bunch of a list of why this may not work um, one thing it says that if your feet are not solidly grounded or there's no effective ground fault path for you the, it's just not going to work that's not true at all I've used it so there's a lot of misinformation just in the manuals alone on these things um, I've seen more electricians get hurt and get lied to by this fucking thing right here um, this does not tell you anything that's going on in the circuit what I use this for and I use it very carefully and I always double check after I use it which is bullshit that I have to fucking double check after I use a tester with another tester. Anyways, say I'm up on a scissor lift somewhere and I have a junction box and there's three hots in it, all three hots are off and I have a helper that's down in an electrical room and I'm on the phone with them and I'm trying to find this one circuit. So I can stick this in a box, hit the button, you know, power it on and then I can tell my buddy, hey, start flipping breakers, let's see if this thing comes on or not. And after he sits and flips and flips and flips, all of a sudden, beep, 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 hey, I know I've got a circuit here. Cool. So it helps identify, you know, basically an on or an off situation. But what you have to do after you use this is pull your big boy meter out, and you actually have to check the power and see what's going on. Don't ever trust this thing and think that the power is off and stick your hands in it because there's a high likelihood that you can get hurt still. Plus, batteries die on these things, or when batteries start going weak, and you stick it into something, it may not test the, or it may, it may not sound at you. So, just a, a horrible thing to be selling at Home Depot for fourteen dollars for the everyday, you know, person that's going to go in and start messing with electricity because they think this is an electrical tester. It's not. A um, little bit sidetracked, but this thing is pretty cool. Um, this is actually a twelve volt. DC tester. Um, a lot of times when you're doing uh, control work or you're doing something on a, a circuit board or automotive, these are great for automotive because you can actually clamp this to ground and stick the tip and you can pierce the sheathing of a wire and it'll light up inside of here if you've got 12 volts. So pretty nifty tool. I don't use it all that often but I thought that I'd at least bring it on and show all of y'all. This thing is pretty cool. Um, if you notice, most of these are fluke. I just love fluke. Uh, they make high quality testers and I've, I've never had any issues with them. So this is really for uh, low voltage. A lot of guys that do networking and TV and phone and internet and stuff like that, they use these. But what it is, is essentially you clamp both of these on one side of uh, a circuit so you would 
you would put this on the black wire, this on the white wire, and you'd follow this, and in the, in the wall, you start hearing some kind of a tone, and it'll actually tone out for you, so you can trace a wire behind or inside of a wall and, and figure out where the other side of it is, because sometimes we can't figure out where the hell a wire goes. Um, so these things are really handy. You have to make sure that the power is off on the circuit. Don't hook this up to 120 volts or you'll fry it. So uh, always go turn the breaker off, hook this thing on, make sure it's got a good connection, and then follow it through the wall. It'll sit and squeal at you the entire way until you get to the, the, the next plug or the next switch, wherever it goes. There is some troubleshooting with these things. Uh, if you hook up to the incorrect neutral and you think that you're on the right neutral, or if you hook the the, uh, the alligator clip up to a group of neutrals that you didn't take apart, it's going to read really funky because it's sending a signal through it, but it's sending it through multiple different places in the house because you left all those neutrals together. So uh, this takes some practice in like becoming efficient and being able to use it. The next thing is a friendly multimeter. Um, this is a multimeter that I don't bring with me in the truck. Actually, that's not true. It's in my truck, but I only use it if for some reason both of these are attacked by unicorns and explode or some fucking, I don't know, something happens. It's just a backup. Um, what's cool about it is, you know, you've got voltage AC settings, voltage DC settings, you've got uh, resistance testing, you've got continuity that it'll actually test, you know, to see if a circuit is, uh, is making a continuous loop. You got amperage, I mean it's pretty much anything and everything that you want. What I don't like about it is that you have to make sure that you're on the right setting with these things. Um, so you have to, it's not foolproof, you kind of have to know how to use it. Um, it's cool because it has a hold function, so if you get a reading you can hold it and it'll save that reading. But this is really meant for more of just desktop use, so like you set it down somewhere and you've got a circuit board or something that you're working on where you can be hands on with it. Um, you can't hold this and like try to do anything like chopsticks. It's just it's impossible to do so uh, This is kind of a last resort for me or if I'm doing something here in the shop and I I don't need to have this at my hand Now this guy is what I use every single day um, I usually keep this in my back pocket and that's why I like it because I can actually fit it in my back pocket and if I'm doing service work troubleshooting something I can pull it right out and use it. The other thing I like about it is that it's simple. It has volts, AC and DC, and it automatically senses if it's AC or DC, so there's no, you don't have to have 73 different uh, settings on this thing. So you got volts, amps, ohms. Every electrician, that's pretty much your basic three. Ohms also does continuity, which is cool. Again, continuity is something I use all the damn time, so it'll actually beep at you. Um, I like that it has a slot back here so I can put one of my leads in there and the other one in here so I can actually have this thing in my hand and read what it's testing while testing. That's super handy. Um, I like that it has kind of a, uh, it's not really an amp clamp, but it has an ammeter so I can take a, you know, a wire and I can put this over the wire and it'll actually tell me the amperage that's running through the wire. So this thing's just a handy motherfucker all the way around. Really like it. Um, and, oh, one thing I don't like about it is the leads are removable. So if you ever don't get the lead all the way back on, and you don't realize that, and you're going to test, and you think, oh, hey, it's not dead, you could get shocked. So make sure that those leads are in good shape, too. A good way to test that to make sure that your leads are actually functional is to flip this onto continuity. If you hear a tone, you're good. That means that you have a complete loop all the way through from tip to tip. But if you pull that little tester out, or if you, you don't realize what's going on, and you're like, well, sorry, it's still touching in there. See, you're not gonna get a, you're not gonna get a tone. But once you connect it back, you're gonna get a tone. Anyways, these things are great. They're like 100 bucks, 110, something like that. Um, really worthwhile. And the last one that I'm gonna go over is my other uh, absolute favorite to use. This is actually, sorry. This is actually an amp clamp meter. So, um, what's cool about this is, you know, if you're out in the field, 
you're using it. It doesn't have the function where you know there's like a slot in the back for you to keep your leads. So you can't really keep this in your hand and test, but it allows you to clamp onto something. Uh, my shit's falling apart here. And you can test this way and still read everything. Um, what's also cool about this is electricians often run into wires that are huge, you know, like 500 uh, copper wires. And this will not fit around those wires. So an amp clamp's necessary when you've got big wires to, to clamp onto. Um, I like the fact that this will actually test capacitance. Um, so it'll actually sense your microfarads. Um, it still does amps, volts, continuity, um, ohms. It's got a cool little light feature, so if you're working in the dark, it lights up. Um, and it does hold. It has a little hold setting, so you can hold whatever your readings are. Um, very, very good quality. But what makes me go to this guy all the time is just, again, it's so, I pull it out of my back pocket, I slide this in the slot. It's just, it works better in my hands testing stuff. I don't have to set anything down, and I really like that. So those are my main testers. Um, if you guys use things that I don't use that you think I should check out, I'd love to know. Um, there are things like a, a Megger I didn't talk about, or line locators. Um, I'll talk about all that stuff in a later episode, but basically a mega uh, senses mega ohms, which is a massive amount of resistance. So this will basically sense uh, a thousand ohms of resistance. Anything higher than that, you have to get a different meter, and that's called a mega. Uh, Megas are really good for if you run wires underground and you need to figure out if a wire's nicked, if you're leaking voltage. Um, so. That's a really specific application. That's not something I keep in my truck. That's something that um, is very, very seldomly used. The other thing is a line locator. Line locators are cool, but man, they're expensive. I don't own a line locator. Uh, I rent line locators, but it's something I'm definitely going to buy because they're worth their weight in gold. Even if you paid $5,000 for a line locator, it would make you hundreds of thousands of dollars in, in return. I mean, they're so worthwhile. Um, but a line locator essentially you take a screwdriver, there's a screwdriver that comes with it, but you stick it into the ground, you clamp onto it on one side, and then you've got headphones that plug into this little wand and you just walk around through the ground and it tells you exactly where the wire is. It doesn't matter if it's four feet buried underground, but you can follow with incredible accuracy and find wires that are buried underground. So um, anyways, that's all the testers I can think about or that I care about. Uh, let me know any comments that you guys got, uh, anything you think I missed out on, or any testers that you use, especially if you have different brands that you like better than Fluke or um, you know, Climb, anything. Let me know.